Hello and welcome to Alpha Military TV. Thanks very much for tuning in once again. My name is Richard Saunders. Now, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so by subscribing to us. That really does help us out. Or you can buy us a coffee. The details are below. And if you'd like to chat about air guns, you might want to check out our Discord channel. Again, the details are below. Now, our review today is of the brand new Launch Today rifle. Um, it is the Day State Alpha Wolf. And it really does set the bar with regards to you know, the ultimate as to what an air rifle can be, to be perfectly honest. It's the most advanced air rifle that's ever been launched. Um, and it really is a piece of kit. As I say, it's being launched today, May the 12th, and we're very pleased to be able to bring this to you, I think probably first. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run through um, the, the, um, the rifle from back to front as we normally do. But just before we do that, a little bit of background to the rifle. So it's very clearly um, based on the Delta Wolf, which was launched I don't know, two or three years ago now. And it's fair to say that the Delta Wolf didn't have the easiest of introductions. Yeah, it was, it was bad luck for Day State that they introduced the, the Delta Wolf just as the, the, the pandemic hit. And you know, launching any product, let alone a, um, yeah, something as, adva as advanced as the Delta Wolf during the lockdown, you know, just made life difficult. And it's fair to say that it did have some teething troubles. You know, there's problems with it holding a, a, a charge in the battery, holding air, you know, all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, I, I guess that's, you know, in a way, although I'm sure this wouldn't mollify you if you're a customer, but in a way, you know, when, when a product in almost any category is launched, it's a real step change product. I guess it's inevitable that there's gonna be some, some teething troubles with it. Now, to be fair to Day State, um, they've done a, a pretty good job of um, identifying those faults, responding to customers, telling them what those faults are, fixing them, um, not only for those customers, but also for, for, for products in the production line and addressing them as they've come up. And I've got a Delta Wolf, a 12 foot pound 2.2 Delta Wolf um, behind me. And that has the latest software, the software that's shipping now. And yeah, I have no issues with it whatsoever. It holds a charge. The charge lasts for weeks and weeks and weeks, um, holds air, and it's incredibly accurate as well. Um, now then, as I say, um, today, May the 12th, is launch day for the Alpha Wolf. And basically what, what they, they say have done is they've taken all of that learning from the Delta Wolf, um, all of those improvements and those enhancements, and they put it into the, into the Alpha Wolf. And then they've poured on top of that a load more as well. Now, there are some some sort of hardware changes um, to the rifle, which we'll go through in a little bit as well. But the real standout difference for the Alpha Wolf over the Delta Wolf is its programmability. Now, obviously via the, the touch screen here, you can scroll through a whole range of, of adjustments uh, and uh, feature settings. And you can adjust the, um, the foot pound, uh, the, the feet per second and all that kind of good stuff. And also you can do that with the Alpha Wolf. In addition though, with the purchase of, a, of an adapter for about 120 pounds, you can plug your Alpha Wolf into your PC. And you know, if you really want to go to that next level of programmability and really fine tuning all kinds of aspects on your rifle, then you can do that via your PC. And I should say also that you can do that now with your Delta Wolf as well. So you can make those same changes via a PC to your Delta Wolf. Now, the really cool thing about that is, although you have to buy this adapter for 120 quid, what it does mean is that um, all future bug fixes, uh, feature upgrades, and all that kind of stuff, you can take advantage of that by just downloading it from, uh, from Daystate and putting it straight onto your rifle, like any other software, to be perfectly honest. So they really are sort of feature-proofing, uh, future-proofing this rifle. Now, before we get into the details on the rifle, we should talk about price. Now, the um, you know, Daystate, there's no beating around the bush. You know, Daystate is a premier brand, and its rifles are expensive for that reason. Now, this rifle, the one you see before you now, is an FAC rifle. It's a 2.2 caliber, and that will retail, as of today, for £2,500. The 12-foot uh, pound version of this will sell for £2,300. Now, the old Delta Wolf, that had a, a price tag of £2,573. 
And what Day State have done is they have said, as of today, they're going to drop the price of the Delta Wolf down to 2,199. So what's that? Um, three, nearly three, over 300 pounds worth of uh, price reduction on the Delta Wolf. So you have the Delta Wolf at 2,199. The 12 foot pound version of this for 2,300 and FAC versions for 2,500. Now, if you have just recently bought a Delta Wolf, you might be a little bit miffed that you missed out on the opportunity to get the Alpha Wolf, and I can understand that. But what Day, what Day State have said, and I think this is really good, is that they will um, give you an upgrade for 300 pounds to upgrade your Delta Wolf to the Alpha Wolf. And basically what they will do is they will send you um, a new stock, the, the, the Alpha Wolf stock. They will send you this new um, uh, Interrail as well. And they'll also send you that uh, PC adapter so that you can plug your Delta Wolf into your PC and you can download Alpha Wolf uh, software. So your rifle, it will say still say obviously Delta Wolf on the side, but in all other respects in terms of um, the, the hardware, and the software, it will be an Alpha Wolf. Right, so that's enough chat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna, as we usually do, we're, we'll start off by walking through the rifle from back to front and looking at all of the, um, the sort of the external features on it. Then I shall run through as best I can the, um, the software options via the touch screen. And then we'll end up down the range and we'll see how it shoots. And because this is an FAC rifle, we'll put the target out to, I don't know, 50, 60 meters, something like that. Now the Alpha Wolf overall is, is actually is a pretty compact rifle. It comes with two different barrel options. This being the high powered version has a 23 inch barrel which pushes the length out to about 840 millimeters. 12 foot pound rifles will get a 17 inch barrel which takes the length overall down to about 690 millimeters. So that makes it a really compact rifle. And in terms of weight, it's around about 3.3 to 3.5 kilos. So it's, it's pretty lightweight as well. Um, now the standout feature on this rifle obviously is the red laminate um, stock and yeah, very clearly there are overtones of the laminate stocks on the Red Wolf and in actual fact a lot of the um, Day State Delta Wolf and Red Wolf um, customers that I've met have talked about you know, the, the Delta Wolf being sort of more like the Red Wolf if you like so that definitely takes it towards that. Um, at the back, you have a, a solid uh, plastic, rubberized plastic butt pad. Uh, there's no real adjustment in that, to be perfectly honest. And um, by removing that butt pad, you access the battery. On top is a, a cheek piece, and that is adjustable. That will slide up and down the main body of the rifle uh, to make things nice and comfortable for you. It's, it's obviously curved, and you can turn it around the other way if you're a lefty and have the, the curved side on the other side of the rifle. The magazine is inserted into this slot here. You can insert it in from either side. Obviously as a right-hander, I've got it um, inserted in from the right-hand side here. But again, if you're a lefty, you can pop it in from that side. It takes 13 shots in 177, 11 in 2.2. I'd have to check what the 2.5 and 30 caliber uh, shot counts are, and we'll put that in the notes below. But it's the same. A gated magazine that you see on, on all day states just now and we'll show you that in close up in a little while. Now um, because you can slot the magazine from e in from either side if you have two magazines you can put two in one from each side effectively doubling up your shot count and then when you've um, exhausted one you can just push the other one through um, so it engages with the breech which is a nice feature and a carry on from the, um, from the Delta Wolf. Now on top almost the sort of the full length of the action, you have this dovetail rail. And as I said before, that enables you to move the, the cheek piece up and down to make that comfortable. But it also enables you to move this new style interrail, Picatinny rail up here, um, up and down the rifle so that you can get absolutely perfect eye alignment for your scope. And it also has a little bubble level in here so that you can uh, make sure that you're not canting the rifle, which is when you hold the rifle on anything other than the vertical plane. As I say, there's lots of adjustment there for you to move that up and down the rifle. And because it um, has only like a single uh, point of attachment back here, that gives you even more scope than the, uh, than the Delta Wolf. The action is a, is a side lever, and the side lever is on this side. Um, it has a drop-down perforated handle, 
and um, you'll see that later. The throw is very, very short. It's very mechanical, real sort of clunk click, uh, which I love because it just sort of keeps you in touch with the sort of the, the engineering behind the rifle. The stock itself has a nice big cutout uh, for your hand. The pistol grip has some, uh, some contours for your fingers and there is some stippling on it as well. And I should have said before that I understand that the, uh, the Alpha Wolf will be available with the textured wood uh, safari stock in the next few weeks and months as well as, a, as an option. The, uh, the safety catch is on both sides. Um, it's a switch style, which is really nice. So you can operate it from the left or from the right. And um, that also, as, well, as I'll show you in a minute, that also switches on the gun and it wakes it up from a sleep mode as well. Now the trigger is an electronic trigger. It's a match style uh, post and shoe trigger, very, very adjustable. Um, and if you've ever shot with a uh, an electro day state electronic trigger before, you'll understand what I say when I say it's really, really precise. It's like you know, clicking a mouse button. Takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you've got the knack of it, and you know, it only takes a dozen shots or something, then you'll wonder how you ever got by without an electronic trigger before, to be honest. You have some uh, Picatinny accessory mounts up here on both sides, and there's a Picatinny um, a rail, accessory rail underneath here, so you can put I know torches, IR torches up here. You can put a, um, a, a bipod underneath here. And I should also say that if you want to bling up your Alpha Wolf, um, they say have teamed up with PRS uh, and they make a whole range of a uh, accessories, you know, bag risers, shoulder rest, cheek pads, all that kind of stuff that you can really tailor this precisely to your needs. The, the carbon wrap bottle is uh, 480 cc's. Now in 12 foot pound format, that's gonna give you, I should think close to 500 shots per fill. It takes a 250 bar fill. Um, on this FAC version, obviously that's gonna vary because as you'll see in a little while, because you can set the power level so precisely and the velocity levels um, according to your, you know, you know, what you want and the pellets that you're using, shot count is gonna vary from, from uh, configuration to configuration, but yeah, there's plenty in there. The barrel, as I said, um, you can either get this 23 inch version in the high powered models or the 17 inch version on the, on the 12 foot pound rifles. Has this big, thick, chunky carbon shroud on it. Um, and there is also uh, a UNF thread underneath this muzzle protector for you to put a silencer on. And one of the reasons why this shroud is so big is because it obviously houses the chronograph, like the Delta Wolf, the Alpha Wolf has a built-in chronograph and it's that chronograph working in conjunction with the software that enables you to make those very precise changes to power levels and, uh, and uh, pellet velocities. So I think that's, oh, oh, I should say also there's a, where is it? There's a, a pressure gauge up here, it takes a 250 bar fill and the, uh, the fill port is, where's the fill port? The fill port is underneath here, just forward of the, of the trigger guard. Right, so with that, what we'll do now is we'll, uh, I'll do my best to, shoot, to walk you through the electronic uh, feature settings. Now let's talk about the electronic heart to the Alpha Wolf, which is obviously this uh, digital touchscreen at the, in the butt section here. <clears throat> now, you'll notice down here in the bottom right-hand corner, there is the battery level indicator. And then next to that is the is a, is a padlock, which basically tells you that the keypad is locked and you can't make any adjustments to it. Now to unlock it, what you'll need to do is put the safety catch in the safe position and open the side lever and leave it open and then hold down the trigger for three seconds. Now you've got to leave that side lever open because if you close it again, the, the padlock comes up comes on again. Okay, so let's just take that off. So with the side lever open then and the rifle on safe, you can now access the menu. So the first menu is factory shot settings. So if you press that, you can now choose through different calibers. So you've got 2.2, 2.5, 30 cal, 177, back to 2.2. Now I should have said earlier that with barrel, the Dayset will sell you a barrel kit so that you can um, adjust the, uh, you can change the, the caliber 
on your Alpha Wolf. Uh, it comprises obviously the barrel and a probe, um, and it's a, a very simple, you know, five minute uh, DIY job to change that. Now this is a 2-2 rifle, so I'm gonna select 2-2. Now my next option is barrel length. I can either go for a 17 inch barrel or a 23 inch barrel. Now this rifle has got a 23 inch barrel, so I'm gonna choose that. Next thing I can do is um, the, the Alpha Wolf is preset with a number of different uh, pellet weight options. <clears throat> so you've also got 14.66 grain here, 15.89, 18.13, 25.38, so sort of getting up into the very heavy 2.225 caliber here, 33.95, and then back to 14.6 uh, grain again. Now obviously if you change the caliber to a 177, then you're gonna get pellet options that are commensurate with 177 typical pellet ranges. And also if you go up to a 30 cal, it will give you heavier pellet options as well. Now I'm gonna be shooting this, I think with 18.13 grain pellets. So I'm gonna select that. Right, now this will now give me the option to set the velocity in feet per second for the pellets. Now I think 1,045 is about the max that it gives you, it is. So um, it starts off at 800 feet per second, and then you can go up in five um, feet per second increments, or if you hold it down, it will obviously scroll through that quicker. So I'm gonna set that for about 910 feet per second with my 18 something grain pellets. Now that is now telling me that um, the regulator setting is um, set at 169 bar, but to achieve what I wanted to achieve in terms of velocity, then um, I would need to, uh, then I could adjust the, uh, the regulator pressure down to 140 bar, and we'll talk about how you do that in a second. But I'm gonna, just gonna accept that for now, and that's me uh, locked. Now let's show you, I'm just gonna open that again. Right, let's show you, <clears throat> advanced shot settings. Now, I'm not gonna pretend to really understand what all this stuff is about, but if this is the kind of stuff that floats your boat, then the Alpha Wolf is really gonna get you excited. Now you can set um, the uh, hammer up and down, you can select voltage, you can um, change your regulator pressures, all sorts of good stuff. Now. Let's also show you what the other menus are. So um, now if you change your magazine or you so if you change your um, um, caliber, you can change the magazine for, for different shot count. Um, now you can either opt to have a shot count on or off. And obviously I've got this on 11 because it's a 2-2 but you can change to 13 if you have a 177, 16 if you um, start doubling up on your magazine, on your magazine. So five is, I'm guessing five is probably gonna be 30 cal, eight is probably two five, 10 is if you have two 30 cal magazines back to back, 11 is two two, 13 is 177, 16 is if you have two two five magazines back to back, yeah, 20 if you, you know, so you get the you get the idea anyway. So I'm gonna run this with just one magazine, so I'm gonna choose 11. Now night mode, this is a really cool feature. So if you um, press the night mode off, you'll see that for daytime use, you can have the magazine, uh, you can have the touch screen in this black on white, shows it really clearly. But obviously if you're shooting at night, that's gonna shine pretty pretty, um, pretty brightly, might give you away. So if you switch it off, then you go to this orange on black um, screen, which is a lot more subtle for night, which is really good. You can also adjust the, the backlight, and you can also set the, um, the auto power on and off. So, oops, let me go to that. So now that the rifle will switch itself off um, after a, a predetermined amount of time from 10 minutes up to an hour and a half, sorry, from 30 seconds up to an hour and a half. 
So, you know, if, if you are um, out hunting or something, you might, where well, you might have a long period in between shots, you might set a, a much shorter period of, um, of, of, of sleep time um, than you would if you were, say, on the range. Now, once you've set your desired level of time, I'm going to go for five minutes. Obviously, press select, and then the rifle will kind of go into a, a sleep mode. Let's see if we can actually we can make that happen. We'll do a 30 second. Right, let's choose 30 seconds. Now what will happen is, hopefully, in 30 seconds time, the rifle will um, switch itself off. So the screen goes blank, um, and you'll hear there's kind of the, the electronics kind of shut down with a little bit of a sort of a whir and a clunk. And then when that happens, obviously you're gonna be looking to take a shot uh, at some point. So you need to be able to wake it up very, very quickly. And that is achieved by um, turning, there you go, so that's just switched itself off now. And that, so waking it up is achieved by switching the, the safety catch off and on again. And there you go, it switches you back up, back live again. Now before that um, shuts down again, I'm just going to adjust that sleep time again. There we go. Let's make that five minutes. And I think those are all of the, the settings on the, oh, no, there's one more. So the chronograph. So you can switch the chronograph on and off. You know, it's as simple as that. Um, and then also you can, um, you can rotate the screen as well if you wish to. So those are your main menus and hopefully that will give you an idea as to what you can do in terms of, uh, of settings for it. Very simple to use. And as I said before, if you really want to go into that next level of programmability, then um, with the use of the, uh, of the PC adapter, you can go into that advanced shot settings menu and you can really twiddle away to your heart's content. Now, like all top of the range air rifles, the Alpha Wolf comes with a regulator. Now, if you're not familiar with a regulator, think of it as like almost like a, an optic on a bottle of gin or whiskey or vodka in a pub. Now, what, ha what happens is if you go into a pub and you ask for a spirit of any kind, the barman or bar lady will push the glass up against the optic and that will measure out a very specific amount of spirit from the overall bottle. Um, so the regulator is a little bit like that. Um, so think of it as like an optic. So what it does is it draws air from the main supply into a secondary chamber, the regulator, and stores that air at a very specific uh, volume and pressure that you can set and then uses that parcel of air to propel each pellet. So as a result of that, as long as your, re your set regulator pressure is above your overall fill pressure, the regulator will keep drawing air off of the main supply and storing it at that specific set pressure, regardless of the amount of air and the pressure of air in your main supply. And that leads to more uh, consistency, shot to shot, and therefore more accuracy. Now, on an FAC rifle, uh, you get the ability to change the regulator pressure to go up and down to obviously um, increase or decrease the velocity and the foot pounds on your rifle. Obviously, on a 12 foot pound rifle, you don't have that ability because you know people would go over 12 foot pounds and make their rifle illegal if they didn't have a firearm certificate. But on the 12 foot pound rifles, you can adjust the uh, the velocity in I think it's 5% increments via the uh, one of the settings uh, in the software. Um, obviously with that 12 foot pound level being the upper limit. So you can fine tune your velocity to suit your pellets even at 12 foot pounds. Now on the FAC rifle, making adjustments to the regulator pressure is achieved by turning this little knob here. It's just below the picatinny accessory rail and above the neck of the, the main air supply, just in here. Now, to increase the, uh, the regulator pressure, you'll have to turn that knob anti-clockwise. Now, to decrease it, you will need to turn it clockwise. Now, um, increasing the, the regulator pressure is just a case of, of turning the knob. But this is, then this is very important. If you wish to decrease the regulator pressure, it's absolutely imperative 
that you uh, drain the rifle of air. Now, the best way of doing that is to remove the, uh, the, the air bottle, and you do that by just turning that anti-clockwise and uh, letting the air bleed out, and then dry firing the rifle to get rid of any air that's been left in the regulator. So when that is completely empty of air, then you can turn this knob clockwise uh, to, to decrease the regulator pressure. If you don't remove the air supply, then what will happen is you will damage the regulator and you will void the warranty. So really important that, that you do that. And if you need to, there are instructions in the, uh, in the, uh, the Alpha Wolf instruction manual. Unlike the Red Wolf that requires you to remove the battery in order to charge it, you can leave the battery in the, in the Alpha Wolf and indeed the, the Delta Wolf while you're charging it up. Now, hopefully you can see right at the back here, at the back of the thumb hole, there is a, a, a small port. And what you need to do is take your charging cable and just plug that into that port. And then obviously plug the other end into the mains. And then what you'll see is on this digital screen will be like a battery charging icon come up. And it will take a few hours, obviously, it depends on how flat your battery is, but once it's fully charged, that will last you for weeks and weeks and weeks. As an electronic rifle, the Alpha Wolf is obviously powered by a battery. Now, you're not going to need to access the battery on a regular basis by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but if you do, on the underside of the butt section here, there's a little button catch. And you need to slide that back, and then the butt section here will slide up to reveal the battery, which is inside this rear section of the butt here. <laughs> Well, that's just about everything on the Alpha Wolf. What we do is now is we'll go down to uh, one of my permissions actually, put a target out and see how it shoots. And then we'll go through the whole pellet loading and air filling process down there. So unsurprisingly, the, uh, the preset uh, pellet weights in the Alpha Wolf are um, set to, they say its own range of pellets, the different weights and what have you. But I would imagine that, you know, if you're gonna use 16 grain pellets, the 15.89 setting will be fine if you're going to use 21 grain pellets, then probably the 18.13 size will be fine. Uh, now these are the Rangemaster Sovereign Hunters. These are 18.13 grain. And um, that's the selection that I put on, on, the, on, the, uh, on the setting on the rifle. So I'll just show you how to fill up the, the magazine. And if you've filled up any other day state, you know, it's exactly the same. So the rifle comes with one of these gated magazines and to fill it, you have to just open that uh, magnetic flap at the front and then rotate the chamber around clockwise as far as it will go and hold it there. And then put one pellet in the bottommost hole and that will then hold that chamber in place. And then it's just a case of putting all the, uh, the pellets into the chambers. Now, what I have noticed with these Daystate magazines is some of the pellets will drop right down low into the chamber, like that last one. Some of them will sit on the surface. I don't think it makes any difference in terms of, of accuracy. Um, you just have to make sure that you don't obviously put two pellets in the same chamber, which is pretty hard to do with the 2.2, but is easier to do with the 177. And this 2.2 uh, caliber rifle takes 11 shots, 11 pellets. And then once you fill up all the chambers, just uh, return that gate and then you're ready to go. So 
So if you've ever filmed up a PCP with air, there's no big surprises here. Now you get this extended um, quick fit attachment with the rifle. And then on the underside, just forward of the trigger, you can see the, the filler valve is just there. Now this rifle is already filled with air, but what you do is you take that attachment, put it onto that valve, give it a good tug to make sure it's on there firmly. And then you give the rifle a 250 bar fill. Obviously when you've done that, you bleed the air from your airline, from your hose, and then just remove the, um, the quick fit attachment. And then hopefully you can see there, the manometer is nice and clear on the left hand side. And that, uh, that tells you that you've got a 250 bar fill. So inserting the magazine into the Alpha Wolf is, uh, is quite straightforward. First of all, you wanna make sure that the rifle is on safe, then pull back the side lever. And then with the 2-2 facing you and the, uh, the magnets on the bottom of the flat end of the magazine going into the breech first, just locate it into the breech, push it all the way home and then return the side lever. So I come down to one of my permissions to try the Alpha Wolf. I set the target out 50 meters and it's a really blowy, gusty day. There's a 15 mile an hour wind, apparently according to the, web, uh, the, the BBC weather website, that's blowing from right to left. And um, I'm sat on my camping chair on, at the back of my truck on a bean bag and it isn't quite high enough, so I'm getting all of my excuses in, but uh, we'll see how it shoots. Wind is terrible. Right, that's all 11 shots. Now, I did find when I was um, doing some practicing off camera that these 18.13 grain pellets shot better at 975 per second, basically about 38 foot pounds. And one or two did get pulled off by the wind there, but I think it's not a bad group, but we'll go and have a look. Well, that's uh, 11 shots at 50 meters, and nine of those are within, I'd say, just under an inch. There's one drop low there and one to the left there. As I said before, it's really gusty out here. And uh, in my zeroing and practice shots, getting blown all over the place. But that, uh, yeah, that's not too bad for 50 meters off the back of my truck. So there you go. That is our review of the Daystate Alpha Wolf released today or announced today, May the 12th. Um, yeah, I mean, what a rifle. It's got so many advanced features on it. It's untrue, but the important thing is it really shoots as well. Anyway, I hope you liked that. If you did, uh, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, consider subscribing too. And don't forget to check out our website, alphamilitaria.com. Thanks for watching.